Well, an out-of-this-world announcement today from the federal government and the Canadian space agency, Ottawa, has signed a deal with the U.S. to send a Canadian astronaut to circle the moon for the first time. It's part of NASA's Artemis II mission, set to take place in 2023. Canada's participation on the Gateway in Artemis II will allow us to continue our tradition of being world leaders in space exploration. It's exciting, it's historic, and it gives us hope for the future in these challenging times. Under the agreement, Canada will also help build a new outpost that will orbit the moon known as the Lunar Gateway. In particular, we're contributing Canadarm3. Of course, the original Canadarm is well known for its pivotal role in NASA's space shuttle program. So for more, let's bring in Canadian Space Agency astronaut Joshua Kutrick, and he joins me from Houston. So Joshua, what a, what a big day for Canadian space, well, for space exploration in general. What was your reaction when you found out that the deal was inked? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it is a good uh, a good and a big day. I, I would say my reaction uh, was a couple of things. I, I'm very excited. Obviously, I'm very passionate about space exploration. I think that it's something that we have to do as, as a species. Um, but more, more than excited, I would say I'm proud to be Canadian on this day. I, I think it's remarkable uh, that Canada, the small country that we are, has always played such a pivotal role in, in human spaceflight and in space exploration in general. And uh, today we're seeing the continuation of that. I think it's amazing in a really good way for our country to think that um, on the first flight back to the moon since 1972, uh, Canada is going to be on that. Uh, and to think that Canada will be the second country uh, in history to send someone that far, to send someone outside of low Earth orbit, it's remarkable and it speaks to our, our innovation and our industry here at home. Yeah, it's exciting enough when we talk about the International Space Station, but now we're going to be talking about this Artemis II space station. Tell me what you know about what it will be and how many people can be on it. Yeah, so Artemis II is an initial test flight. Um, NASA is planning to send the vehicle around the moon uh, shortly without crew. And then in 2023, Artemis II will be that same vehicle uh, going out, flying this moon profile and coming back basically to test out the the systems on this very new complicated spaceship. Humans have never been this far. They've never been this fast. So there's a lot to verify there. Um, it looks like there'll be four people aboard this mission. And one of them, as you know now, will be a Canadian. Um, so that's a very initial mission. And it's part of the wider picture, which is to eventually create a space station, sort of like the International Space Station, around um, the moon. This is the first flight of that program. And with subsequent flights, we'll be building that station. It's called the Gateway. Canada's uh, building most of the robotic systems for that. Um, and that will become sort of the new uh, center of lunar exploration being done to and from the surface from this orbiting gateway station around the moon. It will be an incredible historical uh, moment when that happens. And Joshua, I guess it could be you. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it could be. I. I I would say that we're still a long ways away from assigning a crew to that mission uh, on the Canadian side of the border and also down here where I work at NASA. Um, you are all involved with getting ready for this trip. There's a lot of work still to be done in terms of the technologies and the architectures. They're all brand new. They're all being developed. Um, so we're, we're definitely not quite at the point of naming uh, a crew yet. I think that obviously uh, the idea of a Canadian on this mission is something that gets a lot of attention, a lot of light for, for good reason. Uh, but we also want to keep our eye on the bigger picture. This is uh, really a big step forward, a giant leap, if you will, by Canadian industry, by the Canadian space sector. Um, and it's really a recognition of our unique, world-renowned in innovation and expertise when it comes to this idea of exploring space. So um, that's what it'll be about. And the, the crew will come at some point in the future. And just a word about, I wanted to ask you about Canadarm3, because I mentioned, of course, Canadarm in general being at the center of much of that exploration, and, and that's exciting. Canadarm3 takes it to a, a whole new level, even involving artificial intelligence, I gather. It does, yeah. So what we're going to see here in the next, this decade, in the, in the next number of years is, as I mentioned, the creation of this space outpost around the moon. Uh, so it's kind of like your your base camp circ circling the moon in this very unique but special orbit. And uh, on board that space station, in fact, a, a central part of it and what will build it is this Canadarm3 
Uh, it's brand new technology. It's you know it's Canadian innovation. It, we're we're very well respected for our ability to build this and to contribute it. Um, this arm will be next generation technology. So if you think about Gateway Space Station itself, uh, it's actually only going to be inhabited a, a portion of the year. Um, and for the portion of the year when it's not inhabited, uh, it will be robotic systems, Canadian robotic systems, uh, keeping it running and, and, and basically operating on their own. So controlled from Canada. Uh, but with the ability, as you alluded to, to AI and a few other things, to control itself, uh, which is a pretty remarkable example of Canadian technology, if you ask me. Wow, it's so exciting. Joshua Kutcher, great to be able to get you on the show to talk about this. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for having me.